everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be the last video in my MAC lipstick collection series. So in this series, I just went through my MAC lipstick by finish and I let you know which ones I think are the best ones, the ones I regret buying, the ones I use the most, etc, etc, by finish. And I let you vote in the comment section which lipstick I should buy to include in my big lip swatch video that is coming up in September. So today's video is about satin finish, which is one of my favorite finish from MAC. Actually, I own 11 MAC lipsticks that are a satin finish. In my opinion, it's one of the best finishes because they are really well wearing, they're pigmented, they're even on the lips, but they're not overly drying. So if you're someone that you wish you could pull off like matte lipsticks, I would recommend checking the satin finishes. I feel like they're a little less drying than the matte ones. So we're gonna go through all of the ones that I own. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand and just let you know my thoughts on each of them. And yeah, we're gonna go through them. Let's do this. <laughs> the first one is one of my all-time favorite lipstick, period. So Holy Grail Status MAC Brave. If you're like me and you wish you could pull off Velvet Teddy but it looks straight up brown on you and it's just not the look you were looking for, I would highly recommend you check out Brave. It's absolutely perfect. There's just enough pink in it, so it's super wearable. It's absolutely stunning. You really cannot go wrong with this, like all-time favorite lipstick for sure. Do not regret buying it. I wear it all the time. You can't go wrong with that one. Another one of my favorites that is really close in color, so that's kind of why I want to swatch them next to each other, is the color Faux, which also, holy grail status, you can see it's been well loved. This one is a little darker and a little bit more like purple, not a lot. That's kind of why I wanted to swatch them next to each other. And as you can see, they are similar, but different. <laughs> but really, that one has a little bit more purple in it, and it looks different enough to justify buying them, but I feel like I wear both of them constantly, absolutely adore them, do not regret buying them. Honestly, if you were looking for those type of lipsticks, the finish, the color, they're perfect. One of my first MAC lipstick was this one, and it is the color Snob, and a few years ago everyone was really into those like really bright pink lipsticks, and for some reason I thought this one was wearable, and I still think for bright blue base lipstick, it's a wearable formula. Let me swatch it. I really, really like it. I always think that like medium tone pinks are like kind of hard to pull off for me. I feel like they're really girly, but for some reason this one, I think I'm okay with it. So if you're looking for a really fun, bright blue base pink, I definitely recommend Snob. Again, I've worn this a ton. Love it. One color that I think everyone can pull off, and I know everyone always says that about so many lipsticks, and I'm like, no, they're not universal, but this one kinda, and I feel like a lot of people would agree that the color Rebel is gorgeous. It looks kinda scary in the tube, but it's a little bit less pigmented when you swatch it. As you can see, it's less intimidating. It's absolutely stunning. We're going towards the fall, actually, and I would definitely recommend getting this one. It definitely stains your lips, so it's not, uh, it doesn't wear off weirdly, like, you know, sometimes it just starts, like, being gone in certain places or not uneven, and since it doesn't dry out your lips, so you don't have, like, weird dry patches, it's stunning. You need this, honestly. You just need this. Like, even if you're just starting out with, like, deeper lipsticks, this one is super easy to just, like I said, it stains, so you just evenly apply it with your finger, and you're good to go all day long. You will have the perfect lip color. It's gorgeous. I have a couple more actually that would work for fall, so let me mention those quickly. The first one is Captive, which is one of my most recent ones because I was into that last fall. And this is a gorgeous, obviously a little deeper than the other nudes, depending on your skin tone. Obviously, if you have a medium tan skin, this would definitely be a great everyday type of color. It's gorgeous. It's just like that wearable darker nude for me. <laughs> my camera cuts, I'm not exactly sure where I was, but basically this is a gorgeous deep, for a darker nude on me that has just enough berry in it to make it perfect for fall. A very popular one would have to be this color. This is the color Twig. This one is similar to the other one, but there's a little bit more brown in it, which personally, I find it less easy to pull off than the other ones on my skin tone because I feel like I'm a little bit more towards cool. I'm like neutral cool. And this one is a little bit brownier. I prefer like captive on me. So if you had a little bit more warmth in your uh, skin, I definitely recommend this one. It's a great everyday color once again. This one is super recent in my collection. I wanted to compare it to captive because both of them kind of are mentioned being close to each other and I wanted to compare them and I'm realizing I haven't until now. So let's do this. This one is the color Amorous. 
And you can see they're really similar. This one is a bit darker, a little bit more red. But oh, they are super similar. So obviously you wouldn't need both. But I'm not sure which one I prefer. So yeah, here they are. If you were wondering if they were close to each other, they definitely are. Amorous is just a little darker red than the other one in Captive. The newest one that I own is the color Myth. And this is straight up beige. <laughs> and I used to use it a lot to mix with other lipstick to make them make them lighter because I feel like back in the day when I would try to find a perfect nude for me, I would uh, rely a lot on other people on YouTube and they would often get darker shades than would work for me. And I thought that would help a lot. But I do think it's a little too uh, yellow toned for me. Once again, I prefer nudes that have a little bit more like cool undertone than warm. So this isn't the best lipstick for me. So although I didn't regret buying it when I did, now I don't really use it much. As you can see, this is super pale, like super, super pale. The most recent one in my collection is this one. This one is MAC Red. I wanted to compare it to uh, like the other reds that are really popular uh, on YouTube <laughs> from MAC. But this one is obviously a more creamy version than like Ruby Roo or something. The colors are fairly similar though. So if you like the color of Ruby Roo but you hate the formula, MAC Red would definitely be similar enough to get that one instead. But it's a gorgeous red and obviously it's the only red that I own in that formula. For some reason, I like really deep dark shades to be in the matte or retro matte finish because I feel like they're super low maintenance. But this one and the next one are the only deep that I have. And this one is the color Cyber. And <laughs> it's a very, very scary lipstick. I don't wear it often, but I do like it. An almost black purple lipstick, as you can see. So when I'm really in the mood, I will use this. It's also good to darken other lipsticks, but yeah, it's very very scary so now for the wear test part of the video i have to admit i kind of want to wear faux or brave because lately i haven't been wearing them but i feel like with the colors that are a little too nude you might not be able to see them really well with my natural lip color i still think i'm gonna go with captive because oh captive or rebel actually i think i'm gonna go with rebel i think i'm gonna go with rebel actually because that one is a really popular shade and since i want everyone to own this i want to show you how well it wears so I'm gonna do as I always do and just exfoliate my lips with a makeup wipe. Okay, so I'm gonna apply just a little bit at first just to show you what I meant by uh, you can just blend it out with your finger type look. I just do the outer edges of my lips and then with my finger. Then you can wear this all day and it will just stay in your lips like this and you won't have to think about it again. The color will definitely look different depending on your skin tone and your natural lip color if you apply it just a little, but I'm going to be applying more, obviously. So this is what it looks like at full intensity. You can definitely mix this lipstick with other shades or with uh, different lip planners to make it deeper. I have a lot of fun doing that with this color. And as you can see, it's just a gorgeous berry type of color. It's great for the fall. It does stain. I had trouble removing it from my finger and actually if I try to remove these you will definitely see that they stain a lot but this will last me throughout the day really well like again I tried to remove Rebel it's kind of hard to do so I always do a transfer test so let me do this although with the shine you can kind of tell there's gonna be some transfer so as you can see oh, it's such a pretty color <laughs> but this is gonna be like on my hand forever I feel like for once it came out looking cute Look at them lips! <laughs> so I'm gonna go on with my day and I will be updating you throughout after meal, etc, etc, so you can see how it performs. I just got back home and I wanted to update you. I've been wearing the lipstick for almost 8 hours and I wanted to show you. From afar you can kind of see that it still looks very nice. From close you will see in a second. It did accumulate itself when uh, wherever there's dry patches. I've been doing a lot of lip swatch videos, which you will see soon, but my lips have been extra dry, so as always, would recommend to exfoliate your lips properly and to moisturize them properly so you avoid this. I don't think it's that bad, but you can see that it did accumulate uh, wherever there was some dryness uh, on my lips. I'm sure I could like easily take it off, but I just wanted to show you. If we put that aside, there's still so much product on my lips. You can see that they're definitely stained. And if I were to remove the lipstick right now, which I won't, I will try to wait a little bit longer. 
you will see that my lips are actually pretty much discolored naturally now. So it's really good because it will last all day. But that said, it still feels really comfortable on the lips. There's still definitely some lipstick when I press my lips together. I can feel it. But I feel like within the next two, three hours, it will definitely start feeling a little bit drier. Usually I would have probably reapplied already just because I like to touch it up. But if you forgot your lipstick, for example, you can definitely still pull this off for the rest of the day. I'm gonna keep going and update you a little bit later. It has now been 12 hours since I first applied my lipstick. I watched the timer and was like, ooh, maybe I should do like one more update before removing it. So we're doing that right now. So as you can see, there's still a pretty decent amount of color considering what I've been eating. And I've been eating a lot. It's Friday night. I went a little crazy and the lipstick is still decently on my lips and I had like pizza and everything. It's obviously a stain, it's not looking perfect or anything, but just the fact that there's anything left after that, I'm impressed. So obviously at this point I would probably like reapply or just remove it because it's kind of late. So we're going to do that on camera. I have a makeup wipe and I'm going to be able to show you how much is left. Although. You can kind of see my lips are starting to be dry now. You can kind of see it. But again, lots of lip swatches and it's been 12 hours. So let's do this. So as you can see, there was still a really good amount of color on my lips. So satin finish will definitely last. Obviously, the deeper the shade, the more of a stain they will leave. But I always find them being able to like stay on my lips for at least the eight hours, even if you're like drinking a lot of coffee or water, or even if you have like a meal or two or some snacks, it will still be there and be comfortable. They're not drying. So I think they're a really amazing formula. So if you're unsure what type of formula to get from MAC, Satin Finish is kind of a safe choice. So would definitely recommend checking that finish for sure. So I really hope you guys have been enjoying that series. If you haven't seen the other ones, I will be linking the seven other finishes. So you can check those out too if you are curious to see how they perform, how they wear, and which colors are my favorites. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss that future lip swatch video that will be coming out. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which satin finish you want me to purchase from MAC for said lip swatch video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.